found my pliers. I found both sets of pliers. Oh, there go the headphone users. What is up, everybody? Look who I got here. Look who's here. Ooh, my hand's crooked. Oki. Oki's on. What's up, Bassmaster? What's up, Psycho? Prez X? Rob? I'm gonna start typing cadences. What is up, guys? How's everyone doing tonight? Hope y'all are staying healthy, staying sane. You know, I feel like we should should we have masks on right now? We're actually six feet apart. Yeah, that's a wide angle. Super, super wide angle. We gotta wait for the chats to roll in here. Good little delay there. I'm gonna pull out one of my plastics here to fiddle, fiddle around with while I'm talking tonight. We got a good kind of a topic tonight. Corona be gone. Yellow John G. Jeremy, what's happening? Joe, Dylan, Brett. Man, dude, guys, I've I've been I've been you know. It was raining cats and dogs today. I mean, I don't like that saying, but it was, it's was it been pouring all day, so there was absolutely no fishing today. That's why we're back on Wednesday. It's, it's Wednesday, right? I hope. <laughs> I'm just here so I don't get fined. This is the longest week ever. Anybody else, feel, do you feel like this has been the longest week ever? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was off today. I mean, I thought Monday was Thursday. <laughs> My truck got beat up by hail. Yeah. How big was that hail you had today? Uh, I don't know. Like eggs, like robin robin size eggs. Oh man, man child, what's happening? Brenton, what's up? What's up, Dave? Sixty five redneck. Jersey Joseph. Man, Bruce, what is up? Guys, if I say your name twice, I'm sorry. Really? Jet, how you doing? Yeah, that hail was out of control. South Jersey in the house. What's up, Nick? <laughs> river still rolling back down the river. 18th in the first tournament. Heck yeah, dude. Out of 90. Good job, dude. Tom, what's up, man? Corey. Welcome or greetings from Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> I drove through Pennsylvania. I don't know if I went through Pottsville. Corey, what's up, dude? Oh man. Yeah, it's been it's been super, super long. We yeah, we need Corona be gone for sure. What's up, Gabe? How you doing, man? Old tin horse in here. Rez X wants to know who else uses Z Man. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't I haven't used Z Man in a while. Diesel minnows, man. They're yeah, solid. the diesel minnows were solid. They and were. they got a bigger size now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, did you see Greg in there? Another. I don't see Greg in here anywhere. There, don't you see Greg? I don't, know. I don't see Greg. I guess Greg's not here. Yeah, he must not uh Yeah, I guess Greg's not here. Hmm. That's weird. It's weird. Tornado sirens are going off. It was 17 miles west of us <laughs> heading east. Well, sooner I would suggest that you take care of yourself, my yeah. friend. Yeah. If you got that going on, take cover, dude. Take cover. Be safe. It's no joke. No joke. We don't mess around with tornadoes around here. Man, I get out. And I'm just kidding. I yeah, totally chase them. Yeah, chase them. Yeah. Watch them. I'll stand outside. But you be <laughs> I safe. Am that, I am that guy. We got 26 people in here. Guys, I'm going to talk about the uh, 3K giveaway coming up here in a little bit um what i want to do tonight i want to talk i had a good conversation i was over with in-laws today um grandparents had just had enough of being away from the grandkids yes, and they not. were like come over so i was like finally finally so i went over and uh sat out in the shop with my father-in-law and we talked for probably two hours and it got me thinking about a lot of things it got me thinking about uh stuff stuff Got me thinking about, I guess Z-Man, yeah. Oh, God. I do use Z-Man. Jackhammer. <laughs> do I use Z-Man? <laughs> God, leave. Got me thinking about fishing outside the box. How we do things differently. Okay? Um, have I missed anybody? Have I missed anybody? Mm -hmm. Hey, Greg. Did you did you mention Bassmaster? <laughs> Peyton, what's up? Peyton, I just saw that your, uh, your dad has got the state or the lake record for Old Moldy, dude. That is sick. For now. Absolutely sick. Sean. Uh, let's see here. Chatterbait, Z-Man Spinner. Got that. Sean, what's up, dude? Um, okay, so fishing outside the box. Now, the reason that I kind of like wanted to start talking about this and thinking about this, 
I got a video coming up fishing a farm pond. And me and my buddy Big Nick, we've fished this farm pond plenty of times. Me and John have fished it plenty of times too. And last year, there was about one thing that would work. Two things. Senko and a little swim bait. Little like three to four inch swim bait. And these bass would just eat it up. Just hammer it on a regular old jig head. Not even on a swim jig, nothing like that. Just a lead jig head. So, we've been fishing it, or I've been fishing it a couple times this year now. Are, are you farting right now? <laughs> no. Okay. Somebody <laughs> mentioned that we weren't six fish away from each other. <laughs> um. So, we've been fishing it, and uh, this one I got coming up, I was throwing a rage bug. And my buddy, Nick, he was throwing a Senko and throwing a swim bait. And it just was not the same as last year. I was catching more on these bugs. Now, the water clarity out there is like crystal clear. It's ridiculously clear. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to change it up. I threw a black neon, which is jet black, red flake, rage bug. And they were hammering it. Absolutely hammering it. Now, what is that? Nice pike, dude. Nice pike. So they were hammering this black creature bait, which was off the wall, completely wild. We are trying to figure it out and say maybe it's, you know, because there's a lot of turtles in this pond. But my thing is, the way I think about it, and this is not, not to be confused with, with lake fishing. I'm talking about high-pressured pond situations. Go out there, fish outside the box. Did you say that's like an acre and a half, two-acre pond? <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, so you go to these high pressure ponds and you're throwing the same thing over and over and over and nothing's working. Change it up. Throw something different. The swim bait was fire last year. The Senko was fire last year. This day, they would not hit anything but a rage bug. Now, I was fishing it just a little bit different. These are hollow too. They got an air pocket. Squirrel! They got an air pocket. That helps them float. Um, and what I would do would... I would give it a double bump, let it fall. Bump it again. If they wouldn't hit it on that double bump again, I would reel it and swim it and then let it fall back in the grass. Bump it back up again, they'd hammer it just like that. So it triggered that feed response. But how often do we get sucked into green well, pumpkin? It's a trap, right? Mm -hmm. For for me, you talk about green pumpkin. A lot of guys like green pumpkin. For me, it's it's summer craw or uh, okeechobee, right? Mm -hmm. And I I, I tend to do it because in my mind it works. Mm -hmm. But you got yourself out of that trap by throwing something new. Yeah, but pretty soon, you know, you're out there and you're throwing the same thing over and over, mm -hmm. and then you're not catching anything, and you're beating your head against the bank. Yeah, why am I not catching? Why am I not catching anything? Oh, they must not be biting today. Oh, I can't catch anything. Blah, 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 blah. You know, <laughs> try try something new. <laughs> so hey. fish outside the box. We got to catch up on a lot yeah, of stuff. I just here. want to highlight that Jeremy got out fished again today. Oh heck yeah, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, she's uh, she's killing it on her little Mickey Mouse rod. That tears is up. sick. Oh okay, let's catch up here. Yeah, we got to We got beard bass yacker. What is happening? Like eighty seven thousand. I know I missed him there. Lewiston, Pennsylvania. We got 35, 36 people in here. Fourteen thumbs up, guys. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. I hate asking for that. I'm sorry. Oh, I'll ask for it. I'm I stop. I, I hate doing that. What did I win? Backyard, you won. Sean, what's up? Your supply of gonorrhea. Chase, um, <laughs> Chase, what is up, dude? Let's see here. Let's see. Y'all see the tornadoes today? Did Yamato not see Senkos. them. Heard about them. See, I mean, Yamamoto Senkos are bomb for sure, but they're expensive. Yeah, you can you can do just as well on the dinger. You can do. I, I I'm mm -hmm. not going to be a hypocrite. My bag's full of Senkos right now, Yamamoto Senkos, but seven inch. Yeah, I've got some six inch. Energy, yeah, but um, Northeast Pond Hopper, Rhode Island. What is happening, bro? Like sorry. the uh, the yum dingers work fine. Uh, Brandon Lone Chimney was pretty good again. No four pounds of lost two in it. Doof. Do yes. we? If you're not catching seven pound crappie, you're not doing it right. I could. <laughs> <laughs> I trolled them so hard. Oh my goodness, I trolled so them so hard. Mm -hmm. That was hilarious. It's so hard to row the river in the dark, man. Just sit back and 
go with the flow. Let's Unless you're see. paddling upriver, in which case. What's up, North Fork? How you doing, dude? Peyton's getting on the water this David, Saturday. David, what's up? A tournament. David's got a tournament. Prez. We didn't acknowledge Prez. You didn't say anything to Prez. Yeah, I did. Did you? first opened up. Oh, my bad. Sure my did. My bad. Sure did. I am Amaral, thanks, dude. Appreciate that, man. Just for fun. Let's see here. I touched my face. Do you have any hand sanitizer? Going to fish? No, I don't. Just hand. Cinnamon in the middle. Lick your hand and just rub it all over your face. Cinnamon sankles. But I'm going to tell you the, the color. Oh, okay. So Gabe asked me a good question there. Oh. Did you get the wacky hook rig or the wacky hook rig line or you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Um. So I'm going to touch on it again. And what I did when I did uh, the video of me and my buddy Jacob fishing, I slowed down some footage on a bass that I had just pop off right at the boat. Now, the hook itself was in the roof of his mouth, but the weed guard did not come disengaged, so the barb wasn't in at all. So that was the issue that was going on there. Now, I've since switched over to... Are you going to open that up? I'm trying! I don't squeeze the box. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, I switched over to the uh, Gamakatsu. 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 And we got the Oki trying out some jungle, some owner wacky hooks. But I've been using the, uh, well, now I have to go get it. Fill in for me. Hey, guys. <laughs> so, last year, look what I found today, too. I found all kinds of stuff today. Cleaned out my garage. I found so many plastics. I am now throwing the uh, Kamikatsu weedless wacky hooks here. It's got that wire guard on there. Is this yeah, so it clips to the... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they'll go under the barb. Last year I was using these Mustads. And these Mustads worked really well for me too. They've got the wire guard on there, but I don't know what it is about these ones with the wire guard. I could hook up on those just fine, no issue. But... Switched over to the Gamakatsu. Um, I got some owners to try out. I know Oki, he's, uh, he's got a little bit of experience with the owners already. Uh, Do share. Uh, What's up, Catfish Slayer? So for me, my experience, which I'm not ready to call that final, but I, uh, I had some issues with hookups too. I was skin hooking quite a bit. So in a couple of instances, I noticed that the hook was pushed in not deeply, but the weed guard themselves were so sharp, but they were pressed into the roof of the fish's mouth as well. So the hook was barely skin hooked, but the weed guard, because of how pointy it was, was stuck in the, the roof as well. So it was kind of pushing the hook back and out. Hmm. So I think I ended up missing almost as many fish as I caught that day. Interesting. I'm yeah. going to have to one of those. So you, try may, you may have to bend uh, the weed guards down a little bit or something. Yeah. I don't know. Five inch sinkers on the Ned rig. Hmm. 570, what's up? What's up? Sean's talking about the, uh, he likes the cinnamon lunker log. What's that? Itawa Neo. I have not tried the cinnamon lunker log yet. Okay, let's see here. Ding, ding, um, clear skies. Yeah. Wax a hatchy. Yeah, clear skies are going to be happening tomorrow. John's got a big fishing trip tomorrow. Nick, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Iron Sheik or Sergeant Slaughter? Who? Oh, who's the better heel? I mean, I was about to say slaughter all day, but uh, who's the better heel? I think Sheik. Sheik was a better heel, for sure. Bo Jackson. Oh. Any clue for a decent color for the muddy water we have here in Arkansas? It's been up around for the muddier spots. Okeechobee. Uh, Falcon Lake. Any um, clue for Summer Crawler? Summer crawl. I really do like summer crawl for stained water. It's really nice. That green pops pretty well. Yeah, because I mean you got like the built-in chartreuse mm -hmm. in the summer crawl. Um, Greg will probably tell you as far as muddy water goes, spinnerbait, and that's the guy catches he flat out catches fish on the spinnerbait. Oh yeah. So I mean there's no there's no denying that a spinnerbait works in muddy water. You just put out a video about that. Yeah. Custom. That's some good ones. Mm -hmm. Um, I did not almost sh myself, Bruce. Thank you. I almost did the other day. Thank you, Peyton. I appreciate that, dude. I had to go up into the woods and 
dump one. And then the other night, big Chris bites. Was there. Stick baits are legit. I would check those out. I like big bite stuff. Yeah, big bites make some good stuff. And yeah. they donate back to uh, I think college college funds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, believe. so they're one of the big. Uh, mm-hmm. Do yourself a favor, buy a pack of VMC size one wheelless Nico. Oh dang, John G just called you out. Could be your weak hook set, and that's why that hook didn't work. Could be your stupid face, talking, John he's G. Talking, he's talking about me. Oh, oh my bad. In that he's case, yeah, I me. probably agree. Hey, John G, how many fish have I caught when I've been in the boat with you and you haven't? <laughs> oh, called out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh um, man, cinnamon lunker log. I do that. The cinnamon is cool. That's that's probably so. The cinnamon lunker log is probably the most natural looking like bait replication single that I've ever seen. Right? It looked just like an earthworm. So, Gabe, I've got some of the because uh, I went through all my tackle today, and when I say I went through all my tackle today, I went through my drawers Man, that had plastics, like unused plastic clamshells, and I've got four pounds of plastics. Right here. What do you say? So Bama Crow. Um, but back to the uh, the size one Nico hooks. I've got them. I actually had them in my bag. It was just at those two lakes, I'm not gonna throw a non weedless wacky rig. That's just because I'm lazy for one. The amount of grass that's in there, it just it wouldn't have worked out very well. So that's why, but yeah, I I found four pounds worth of creatures and craws and bridge bugs, which is technically a creature too. Bama, yeah, you want to add that to your giveaway? Sure, why not? Absolutely. They have lots of green pumpkin rage menace. That's it. Let's yeah, so I like the. Uh, I had some good luck river, with that color last season. Channel is always changing. So I don't know what work. Yeah, cinnamon is a great color. Let's see here. Sorry for the ASMR here, guys. Dude, Jeremy, talking about blue craw. Blue craw is absolute fire. It is a sleeper color. I like blue craw and blue baby. Right, is there really too much difference between them? Yeah. Nah. Mm, well. Somebody break it into my truck. <laughs> Cody said poop. Hey, Cody. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Still glad the boat didn't sink. I'm Morgan sure McLove, know. what's up? Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Gabe put cinnamon in his oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> I love cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> what's up, Stilly? Stilly, Stilly. He said whatever, Chiquita. Chiquita banana. Lost my aquarium bass yesterday. Oh, dude, I'm sorry to hear that, Dave. Yeah, that's that rough, sucks, man. man. No one likes losing pets. Nope. What's your favorite bait to fish? It's conditional. Oh, favorite bait to fish, though. I mean, my ride or die is uh, Texas Ridge Rig Rage Bug all day. Texas Rig Rage Bug. Like if I had to fish one bait for the rest of my life and only one bait, it's probably going to be that. Yeah, yeah it's probably going to be a rage bug. Um, that or frog. Oh, I love okay. frog so fishing. Gabe, how do you get bed fish to bite? Go ahead and lighten us, my friend. What's that? We need to know. Where is it? Rapala. I know it's a little late and off topic, but how did you like this month's Monster Bass Box? This month was, what was in this month's? Okay. I just sent them out today. Spanner bait, crank bait. Um, it was, uh, from what I remember, it was decent. Um, I think they're getting better. Oh, the frog was in there. The frog, yeah, I forgot um, about that. Frog was in there. I was just mad there was another spinner bait. Did I send that? No, I didn't send out that box. I'm, I'm keeping that box for the giveaway. Yeah. It's sitting in my house, I think. You just make them mad and they'll just bite. I see that frog is absolutely killing it. I see a lot of guys catching on that frog. Yeah, um, yeah I thought it was decent. Sean would like to know what y'all's PBs are. Oh, my PB is 7-7. Seven, 7 pounds, seven, pound, 7 ounces. What's wrong with your finger? Oh, no, I was just scratching What's your face. PB? What's your PB? What's yeah, that answer? Oh, uh, 5-14-ish. 
about almost six pounds. Almost six pounds. What was the bed fish? Yeah, was no, no. I know I did ask Gabe, but he's ignoring us. What? I'm trying to get Gabe to tell us how to make bed fish bite. Oh. Tachula XT rod. Hopefully it's pretty good. And I tried to grab some of the fire red or whatever check bait. They were sold out. Yes. I'm, I'm guessing something happened with uh yeah, it, it was on the stream last night. You would know that if you were there. No, I was not. It wasn't last night, it was Monday night. You would know that if I was there. Yeah, I was I can't remember what day it is. I was dealing with some family. Oh. The child. Now we're <laughs> speaking of which I gotta update you on him. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see here. Hampton's out. We miss you, Hampton. Take care, Hampton. My rider dies a Texas rig, seven inch power bait, blue fleck. Nine Heck, pounds yeah. on a topwater frog. Using a butt rage bug shaking or dragging over and over all day, all day. Six pounds. Man child, nine to six. Dealing with a nine. Man, we're just getting slammed by Brad got a uh, six pounder in 10 minutes on the Rapala Saturday. On the Rapala? Rapala. <laughs> <laughs> on the rap low? Mm. Heck yeah. PB is a nine on a frog? A nine on a frog Ooh. would be insane. Ooh. Seven, seven, it's a whale. All day. No, Sign me up no, we for can't, that. Brett, we can't say it's a whale for that fish. It was, get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net. <laughs> I am calm down. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, the we got Oki just sitting back here facing off this way. I was tangled. Keep fighting. Best way. <laughs> Best way to get a bed fish to bite, you have to oh, slap her in the net? face. Okay, let me get her. For you. you have to slap her in the face with a Tokyo rig till she goes down on it. Oh, uh, Tokyo rig! I want to throw that this year. Six cents. That. Six cents sack came today. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, I got him like five feet from the bank, so he didn't really fight that much. It's fire it has the creature baits. So I'm ready to try the creature bait. Oh, the prawn, dude. Those prawns have been. Hit eight crazy two with a Senko 2020 Peyton's 2020 PB is eight nine and he's 11. Suck it, y'all, dude. Peyton is crushing it. Yeah, he's, he's just gonna like, yeah. Peyton and his dad are just fish catching machines. PB. I need to get out of them. I should go out with them. Good probably Screw you. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go fish with them. Piss on John Prez has a uh, nine five on a T rig Z man zinker. Oh. Six cents with the Z-Man. Oh, a six six. Sorry, with my Z-Man spinner last week. Dude, nice, dude. It. Last week. Congratulations. A lot, a lot of 2020 PBs coming in, man. That's great. Yeah. So, Gabe, talking about a, a wacky rig as well. Um, I'm, I'm very curious. Like I said, I think I said it a couple weeks ago, but I want to try out Ned Rig baits on beds. I was talking with Chris, father-in-law, tonight. He was like, you going to throw it on a spinner rod? I said, yeah. He said, well, make sure that you get it past them and drag it because it's just going to plop right in there. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, so, Jeremy the, uh, was talking about the Ninja Worm. Didn't you get some of those? No. You did no. not get the Ninja Worms. Okay. No, but I do like them a lot. I got the I churros. Like those yeah. are bangers. You should be nothing to plastics. Hey, that's actually something that I had considered doing. I thought about getting a mold, but I don't know what I want to get. Steve's making swim baits. I thought about maybe trying to do Senkos or something like that, stick baits, something like that. Started taking fishy seriously. Any tips? Uh, hold on, we got to. You can put a rattle on there. Yeah, you could. Let, let's uh, let's answer Swank's questions really quick. Or question really. Swank, quick. what's up, dude? So he started taking fishing seriously. Any tips? Fish. I asked you this question today. Fish, 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 and fish, don't fish, fish. overcomplicate it. Yep, don't overcomplicate it. Um, golly, I mean. We say don't overcomplicate it, and then my mind automatically goes over to complicating, complicating it. it. Yeah. Are you talking like just getting it or taking it seriously? Are you beating the banks? Are you in a kayak? Are you in a boat? What's what's the situation that you're fishing? You know, that's that's the real thing. Greg, it's all good, dude. Welcome in. Um. Heck yeah. Ninja Worm. What's the next unboxing? I see you, Peyton. I got you, dude. I appreciate that. Uh, I, I've done like 12 unboxings in April. Brett, what's the next unboxing? <laughs> dude, I actually... I... Mike Zabreski's in the house. Do you guys want to see what I got in this one right now? You want me to just show you what I got in this latest one? Should I just do an impromptu unboxing? Let's do it. Here, hand it to me and I'll hold it up. Z-Man Pop Shads. Have you guys seen these yet? They're floating. 
and they act like a popper. And they're pop shads from Z-Man, so they're elastic, so they're super freaking tough. And they have different sizes and weights. I got a couple of uh, 13 walking trash pandas. I got Rusty Bream. <laughs> Rusty. <laughs> Rusty <laughs> Trombone. <laughs> Plumpkin. <laughs> um, these frogs walk awesome. I mean... Take on little to no water as well. Cast extremely well. Rusty Bream. And then there's <laughs> something about that name. I tell you what. And then I got uh, Sexy Can I. My only complaint with these frogs so far would be the skirt or the legs. So they got the rubber leg on there, but then they've got these sparkly, I shiny, hate that material. glittery. I mean, it looks great in the water, but when that gets stuck up in the hook, it's not quite as fun. I don't like it near as much. So, but the way it walks is fantastic. I wish I would have gotten some of their popping ones, but they were out of stock at the time. Um, Sean Wolfgang coming in with a donation. Hey, Sean, thank you, man. Two dollars make you holler. <laughs> um. Okay, next thing that I got. I'll put that away in a second. Stop ball. Next thing that I got, 13 Fishing Blunt Force Finesse Worms. Did not get the Ninja Worm, but I got black and tan, and I got collared greens. More like a green pumpkin, almost a summer craw. And then the black and tan is kind of an Okeechobee. It's a green pumpkin in black and blue flake. And I got those specifically to throw on these guys, on shaky heads. I got some owner shaky heads. I got the football shaky head. I got quarter ounce and I got one eighth ounce shaky heads here for uh, for both. Crappie fishing vid, we'll uh, we'll get one of those out, Peyton. It's just a matter of not Dude, chasing big green. It's funny that you say that. I might have a crappie seven pound crappie. coming up. Crappie trip coming up. Jumping from over the water. Sooner be safe, brother. Sooner take care, dude. Be safe. Be safe. Here I got another pack of the uh, six cents clout in Nirvana. Those that are redonkulous. Green pumpkin and blue. 5.4 inch, mind you. I got uh, a couple, like I said, I got some of the owner wacky weedless hooks. Now, I got some other stuff here, something very different. These are so now, cute. Now, the reason I did these, I got some of the Mega Bass Okashira screw heads, and I got three inch Mega Bass spark sheds. I got them in the AYU, and I have them in the white. Now, the reason I did this is because lately, when we've been going out and throwing, when Chris has been throwing the A-Rig, <laughs> they've been pretty finicky. So, what I want to do now is try and hit both ends of the spectrum. Hit them with the big rig, throw something a little more finesse at them. See if we can get them, if they're just being picky right now, if we can get them with a little more finesse. This is also post-spawn. When they're feeding up, when there's a bunch of, you know, little bait fish running around. Chasing for eye. I want to imitate this. I want to do that. So that's why I got those. And then I got a couple of the ooze, 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 swimmer, swim jigs from Mega Bass. Mm, 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 mm. I got a quarter ounce and I got a three eighths ounce. Um, they've got the spinner on the bottom there. Hook keeper on them is great. I got this one. What is this one? Smoke shed. And then I got the uh, AYU again. You're going to have to change the title of the stream. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get around to that 3K giveaway. Don't you worry about that. Oh, I was just talking about to, to recognize the unboxing. And then that's the AYU swim jig hey. right there. With that uh, AYU spark shed mm. as a trailer there. Mm -mm -mm. Three eighths ounce. And that thing stays true. I was burning it yesterday. I haven't got anything on it. Wasn't City, working. City so my my uh, theory of finessing them did not work. So Just yet, Peyton, I think that covers the unboxing. A turkey hunting video would be cool, but I noticed that my hunting videos tanked compared to anything fishing related. Maybe it's just because of the audience that I had originally built. Yeah, it could be that. I know hunting stuff is weird on 
on YouTube right now. Well, it's so much slower, right? Because you go out to catch fish, you can edit that down. You go out for a hunt, you're in the woods for eight, nine, sometimes ten hours. It's not. And... It's not so much that. It's the fact of how YouTube is with guns. Oh well, that too. That's that's the biggest thing. I can't have a conversation in the woods with you. Like though. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. I don't know how YouTube is reacting to you know smaller creators and putting guns you know or hunting or anything like that on their channel and i'm trying to steer clear of having any issues with youtube whatsoever for as long as i possibly can so that's why when i've gone out and gone hunting and gone coyote hunting even though it was unsuccessful i didn't film any of it so i'm just i'm trying to avoid I like to film it, and I'm still going to put them up as as long as it doesn't affect my ability to monetize when I if I get to that point. But yeah. um, I do a lot of bow hunting, so S waivers are going to be here in a couple. Do I know? I saw Friday. I'm pumped. I'm freaking pumped. Yeah, crappie fishing is definitely coming up. Demonetization. Um, Fuck. Bruce said 13 is my jam. Yeah, dude, I've got I got 13, the uh, wobble craw and the ninja craw. I just found out on the wobble crawl, you can actually put a rattle in there. There is a chamber. I don't know if it's going to pick that up or not. Right there, a chamber that you can put a rattle in these guys, but they float. So the crawls float. These and the ninja crawl float. So, I mean, I put them in the sink, and they stand straight up. So, straight up. <laughs> don't say it straight up makes me think that. I'll go. <laughs> don't say it straight up makes me think that. I'll Shut go. So, okay. Sorry. Mike Zabreski. Sorry. I blew four hundred dollars on six cents lures and some Guggen hard and soft plastics. I still haven't got a chance to fish yet due to snow and rainy weather. That Dang. sucks. Dang. Are you or John hitting the drip tomorrow? Negative. Negatory. Negative. I Wednesday is ish during the week. And it rained on. Me. Um it's uh that's the day that my wife is off work. And then Saturdays and Sundays is what I got. Saturday's gonna be crappy like super freaking windy but i think we're gonna head out we're gonna snag saturday or sunday yeah saturday want to snag saturday i think so yeah i think we're gonna um, go snagging saturday river i haven't got a chance to throw but that's the plan yeah did you bring me mine yeah they're in the truck oh for whatever reason there was only one pack of red in there though huh weird Super freaking. You put a piece in the chain right through that bed, bro. Oh, so put you check. You can crush Alka Seltzer, put a piece in that chamber, and throw that on the bed. Ooh, so the, the bubbles. <laughs> That's smart. That is smart. I like that. Yeah, Peyton, that would be a cool video to see, my friend. Your one hunting video has over 800 views. See, my, my 2019 hunting season sucked giant balls. I'm curious. Brad, topwater blow up challenge. What do you what you mean there? You trying to throw them like you want to see who gets the best topwater blow up? You don't want that smoke between him and I. Oh, okay. is that what you want? Sorry, I'm just. Because I mean, I'll we'll figure out a way to do it. How many frog fish have you caught this year? Four, four. Kicking my butt. I mean, but no, I only have the opportunity to throw frogs. For three, me. three frog fish and, and one, one, buzzbait. one and a half buzz bait fish. One, one buzz bait fish. You can't you can't count the half if you lose it. You shut your face. You can't do that. Oh, Colton Pratt in the house. <laughs> oh, Colton's here. The famous Colton Pratt. The famous. The get that guy's the. autograph. Dylan, have you used the headbanger rocker head lately? No. Because, oh yeah, that was in the yeah house. that was in the box. Um, I have not because I'm leaving that for the giveaway. So three K giveaway. Let's do a uh, a really quick live count here. Mm. Twenty-five ninety-four. So what my what I'm doing? I hit three thousand subs. Three thousand subs on the YouTube. I'm gonna be giving away. I've got a box with miscellaneous tackle. I'm gonna pick three winners. Three winners is my is my goal. It might be four, but someone's gonna win miscellaneous tackle. Someone's gonna win one monster bass box. If it happens by next month, then someone's gonna win another monster bass box. And then the other winner, last prize, is going to be a favorite white bird. This is a seven foot four medium heavy, yeah, seven foot four medium heavy, moderate action rod with Cast King Royal Legend Elite five gear ratio, five three to one gear ratio. Reason I'm doing these two together 
besides the fact that it just looks good white on white on white like that is this rod in particular is my absolute favorite for throwing crankbaits light crankbaits up to medium weight crankbaits i love this rod i've got two of them that's why i'm giving this away three thousand subs once we get there three to four winners that's what i'm doing so crankbait reel crankbait rod Monster Bass Box, Miscellaneous Tackle, most likely a second Monster Bass Box. Giving them away. That is why I have not opened or done an unboxing for this month. And probably won't do one for next month because I'm going to keep those in the wings for when we do it. So, <laughs> Brett, Brett says, don't forget about me when you make it big on YouTube. <laughs> I'm not, uh, not going 398, to. 398, my dude. Not going to. 398 now? Yes, sir. If I can get them, I'll throw some dude wipes. What do you think? Oh. Yeah, see, Norfolk gets it. White bird, white bird moderate. I mean, I got a white bird heavy that I caught my first. I actually broke it in last night on a frogfish. Um, fantastic rods. I mean, if you're looking for budget friendly, I know Greg, we've talked about it a little bit. I don't know if he's still on here. Um, but white bird from favorite is 100% my go-to for budget-friendly rods. Um, the moderate action, like I said, light crankbaits. Watch any of my old videos. Watch the Sixth Sense Massacre video. That was all on the white bird. Um, the day that I caught close to 100 sand bass, all on the white bird, and I was throwing a popper that day. That was um, yeah, that was a freaking blast. But Random box fishing video was a very good idea. Lots of good comments on the white bird. Good, good, good. I'm sure, happy to hear do you that. Have a Lunkers TV special edition rod. No, I just I've got the Defender, but I didn't get the Lunkers edition or whatever it was. Yeah, I don't have that one. I don't have that, and that's nothing. I'm I'm not gonna get like the uh, what is it? The rigged rod or the Lunkers rod and Lunkers, you know. Well, they're they're the same. They're the same. I mean, the rig rod is the same as the Phantom. I've got a Phantom. The flip, like um, flare's flipping stick. Yeah, okay. flare's flipping stick is the six stick. Um, the balance, or you know, isn't the primary Paris difference rod the, is, the autograph and the color scheme? Mm -hmm. or? That's really the only difference. Okay, I can um, remember. And it's just because I mean I've already got those rods. The Defender is so similar to City. the Phantom City. as well. Be safe, bro. So take care, Dave. Appreciate you, dude. Dave, sorry. Um, the Phantom is sensitive. Yes. The Phantom is my daily driver. Do you guys have any opinions on Daiwa? Dude, actually, um, <laughs> you know, it's funny because I was talking about wanting to pick up a Tatula. Um, Chris tonight, he was just like, hey, check out this new reel that I got. Tatula, TWS, 200. He's got it set up with a, uh, a mag draft on there right now. Nice. And that reel feels... Smooth. They're on sale on American Legacy super Fishing right now. Super smooth. Super smooth. I I mean I cast it a little bit. Haven't really you know put it through its paces or anything like that. Obviously because it's not my reel, but very low profile. It reminds me the profile reminds me of an SLX. It's that small, that low profile. Even the two hundred size was the size of an SLX. Did I send you the one fifty or the two hundred yesterday? Uh, I think the one fifty. Huh. Ow! So. Even that felt the same. Johnny Morris has the SLX. Same lightweight. The handles, the knobs feel the same as a Shimano 2, which I'm a big fan of. Um, Kenneth has the 200 for the big cranks. Nice. Yep. I, I want that. Look, I don't mean to beat a dead I know horse. John's got the Daiwa 2, and that's... My Alexa is... Well, it's in the truck right now, but man, that thing... You want to grab it? ...is stupid smooth. I mean, You guys want to see the Alexa? You want to open the garage, I guess. The button's right up there. You can just go push the button. Oh, All right. So let's see here. Norfolk, I have a package coming from the great people at Favorite Tomorrow or Friday, 7-6, Heavy Fast Defender. Nice. The new 821 SLX XT is going on there. And 7-3, Medium Heavy, Moderate Fast Balance. Dude, Moderate Fast is probably the, the big button, dummy. Sorry for the noise. It's gonna get loud really quick. I wonder if I can. You know what? I'll just.
still raining? No. No, I guess it's just water dripping off the garage door. Um, I love the modern fast action rods. Uh, I mean, you want to talk about an all around go to? I think moderate fast is the way to go. Medium heavy, moderate fast. But that's for my style of fishing, you know. And that's that's something that I think we all need to kind of take into account is when you're asking for tips or asking people about you know what's the best thing to do for fishing, what's the best rod to get, what's the best reel to get. You got to go out and figure out what your style of fishing is first and then base it off of that. So I recommend starting off on a budget, you know, start off with a budget, a cheap reel from Walmart, cheap rod from Walmart. Try some different stuff out before you go and spend a lot of money on a big setup if you're just getting into it and then come to find out that you don't like that style whatsoever. So that's where I went wrong when I first started out and almost kind of gave up. But I found that moderate fast was the best for me because I can fish a Texas rig on it. I can fish a jig on it. I can fish a chatterbait on it and have the same results the entire way around. I could throw a crankbait on there too and still had enough load on that style of rod to throw a crankbait. All right, let me catch up here. Um, got a die with zillion as a gift. Ooh, dude, the zillions are sick. Zach said, uh, Corrado DC is my favorite. Corrado DCs are sweet. Dude, I've been able to throw quite a few of those. Corey, take care, man. Corey's out of here. Um, here we have the, uh, Daiwa Alexa. Oh, you got my glide bait. Thanks, dude. I'm just going to cut this off really quick. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about your Alexa here? I don't need to talk about it, really, but I can. It's just an absolute beast. It's 300 HD. Seven bearing. Sealed. Green bearing. Really? Come on, guy. Sounds good. Yeah, it's, uh, it's running lean, man. It's running Sounds really good. Lean. 25 pounds of drag. This thing's an absolute beast. You did a video about it on your channel, didn't you? Yes, sir, I did. Yep. With the uh, I Slide 185 and AYU. That's my glide bait right there. That's my that's my baby. I'm gonna cut this off real quick. Yeah, you go ahead and uh, okay. you go ahead go on ahead and do that. You want me to reshut the door here? Yeah. No, the Lexus are sweet. Um, I'd say between the two of us, well, between the four of us, between Chris, Steve, me, and John. We've covered about all the gamuts of uh, swim bait reels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got them covered. You know, I've got the Okuma Komodo SS. I've got the Concept or the Concept A3 from 13. Those are my two swim bait reels, which I think the A3, I'm about to mute this really quick. It's done. Okay. Um, so I think the concept A3 is just about obsolete. I believe they've discontinued that one for the Z3. Um, you've got the Lexa. Mm -hmm. Steve's got a Lexa. Uh, Chris has got a Tranks. Steve has a Calcutta too. I yeah, believe. Steve's got a Calcutta. Um, Chris has a Revo Beast. Oh yeah, um, which Revo Beast is definitely I'm not not as much of a fan of that. So and then he's got a grappler as well. Creighton said, <laughs> Peyton said green Corrados are the best. Those are those two hundred size. Sean wants to know what's up with the handle, the power handle. So a couple of things that I can tell you about that. Number one, if you're fishing those big baits like that, the hook set is just a little bit different. Um, well, not the hook set per se, but the hit. And the last thing you want is your hand slipping off the grip. So some guys like the power handle, some guys don't. I'm indifferent right now. I haven't really had a lot of experience with it, but it comes highly recommended. So I'm going to work with it. So I put the power handle on my 13 uh, A3, and I do like it better than the actual um, core candles. Um, it just feels a little more smooth to reel. I think it's a torque factor as well you're going to get more torque um from that one 
crank compared to the smaller having two of them on there. Um, Everfish Sky took no, have not yet. I've been begging to go up there though. The smallies up there, and that's Jonathan said he taught his boys on Lose American Hero bait caster combos. Those nice. Lose makes awesome stuff, dude. Awesome stuff. I'd say that's the only one that we don't have covered is you know a Super Duty Lose. So man, child's out. Take care, dude. Um, let's see here. Three to eleven every day. Yikes. Still, he's out. Take care, bro. Well, I've just got a new work schedule from 3 to 11 p.m. So now I have wait. Nice, Dylan. Is casking up, legit? Uh, I do believe casking is legit. I mm. still, uh, where is it? I've got the the Mega Jaws, and I caught hell when I first bought that. Yeah. I love that reel. Yeah. So I still have the Speed Demon Pro from Casking as one of my top water rigs. And I mean, while it may not have the most drag, it casts a freaking mile. It will sling a frog. I mean, maybe it's because I've got it dialed in, but I, I'm hard pressed to say it, it casts further than the SLX does. And just about as far as Chris's DC, Corrado DC, that he throws his frogs on. So I think Cast King makes some good stuff. But I think, like with any manufacturer, you're going to have a bad egg in there. You know, so, you're going with a cheaper reel, you're going to get not as good results. Maybe not right away, but down the line, you're going to have some issues. But I put that reel through hell last year, and it is still doing great. I like my jaws. Everybody was like, you're going to hate that. It's going to be terrible. Yep. Still got my mega jaws. Smallies and walleye. Small. Oh, uh, oh! Part start. of the miscellaneous tackles. De there's definitely going to be some swim baits in there. Some big swim baits. Um, the closer we get, I'm going to do a video showing a little more in depth of you know what everyone has a chance to win. So, like I said, I just want to break it down really quick and just say, most likely two monster bass boxes, miscellaneous tackle, and a rod and reel. White whales in the house. What's up, white whale? Okay. I haven't liked the video. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Do I? I see. Four likes. How going? Um, David, right. take care, dude. Okay. Appreciate you, man. Yikes. Love catching small. He's so great, dude. I want to. Mm. Oh, you got the lose mock, the mock rush. That's a that's a sweet looking combo. I've heard really good things about that one. I got a weird forehead. You do. <laughs> look like a Klingon. You do look like a Klingon. Right there, yeah. Like you look like, what was his name? Worf. I thought it was, I thought it was Worf. I feel like we're dating ourselves right now. <laughs> we're sitting here just staring. <laughs> <laughs> the swipe left. Logan, what's up, dude? Heck yeah. Dude, I know. Like I was telling Logan about how we're going to have a, uh, a get-together. Well, definitely. I think we'll have to speed up the get together once with once the the whole Rona thing is over. Is this we'll just have to make the get together happen? Is this the Logan that I know? No, no, I don't believe so. Um, shot rock combo, the hack attack was closest to the yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some news for y'all. I was wanting to share. <gasps> you can't do that, Colton. Are you pregnant? Is Colton pregnant? What's happening? I, I don't news. see it yet. I don't see it yet. Hey, I got some news for y'all I was wanting to share. I'll hit you up. Hey, what Instagram. frog was on the Cast King? Oh, on the Cast King rod? That's the Trash Panda. I showed that. I know. I know you didn't get to see it earlier. Why well? That's that 13 fishing Trash Panda. Which, like, I, I mean, I wish that I would have gotten the popping frog of it. But wait, these are the, Aww. these are part of the legs that I'm just not a big fan of. This material right here, that sparkle material, it's more of a string, but it does have the neoprene legs on there as well. But what they do is they heat shrink around the uh, main swivel right there, and then on the back as well, and then the drain port is on the top. These take on little to no water. I have had zero issues with these um, compared to like my river to sea. My took on a lot of water. Well. Spro, yeah, Spro's fantastic. I'm talking like outside the box here. 
Um, Spro 100% go to my bass but pro edition. I've even got a mega bass maggot, mega gabbit, and that thing takes on water too. <laughs> maggot gabbit, mega gabbit, <laughs> mega gabbit. But yeah, trash panda, <laughs> fantastic. Good news, Peyton is not pregnant. Oh, good. I mean, Colton, 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 Colton oh no, Colton's not pregnant. I hope Peyton's not pregnant either. That'd be awkward. Oki, okay, you up to 400 subs yet? Uh, I don't know. Whitewell wants to know, does it walk easily? He yes. didn't use it last night. It walks. It might be the easiest walking frog I've, I've thrown yet. Greg, you the watch. Yeah. I I'm think it, uh, we're going we're gonna to arrange a, an Oki get-together at some point this summer, guys. Yep. You got to communicate that through me. Alex can't plan anything. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't plan. Ask my wife. I, I just roll with it. Yeah, it's not that you you know you you're not like physically or mentally capable. Yeah, of it's not that so I'm dumb. It's just that I have ADD horribly, and so have had 167. I've had seven. <laughs> and soon I'm gonna have you forget how many <laughs> seven concussions. Mm-hmm. That might be more. I don't know. <laughs> like it's, it's, it's. I got three in jump school, three from jumping out of airplanes. I got two growing up. Was that five? Yeah. Three growing up. I got a concussion. One was from rollerblading. <laughs> two were from fights. Three from Zach. jumping out of airplanes. Eight. A couple in Afghanistan. So I've had two concussions, and one was trying to impress a girl. Well, that doesn't surprise me at all. No. She wasn't um, impressed, by the way. Okay. Catfish is out. Zach's out. Mike wants to know why some people trim tails on frogs. They do say that trimming one of the tails helps it walk a little bit better. Can I just say that frogs don't necessarily or aren't necessarily intended to imitate frogs? I know. It's an unpopular opinion. It's meant to they imitate bait fish. Bait fish. Or a frog. Or a frog. Yeah, or right. Frog. But 100%. Uh, yeah. People yeah. are like, you got to trim the legs so it looks more like a frog. Well, it's not. You trim your legs too short, and then it's not going to walk. I'll tell you that much. A couple of you reasons. Know, trimming one of them supposedly does. I, I have not tested that theory. It, so. it changes the visual a little bit. I agree. It also helps. Because if you've got a frog Brad's out, like take care, bro. eight inch you know, worth of trailer, you're going to end up getting nips on those tails, and you're going to end up pissing yourself off because you're going to miss fish. You don't. got a new video coming out yeah. soon about how you can replace the skirt legs on a hollow blood frog. That's a good one. Aaron said it's all about the top toad. I want to try the top toad this year, 100%. Top toad. Top, top toad, toad instead of a buzz bait. So Oki thinks that I hate a buzz bait. I have it's nothing not against buzz bait. Well, she you said don't really you hate throw. I did no. say that. It's the, she no. don't throw them very much. Did you throw one last year? Yeah. Did you ever catch one? No. No. <laughs> Bass eat whatever. That's right. Alex has said it a hundred times. There's no like, there's no book, man. <laughs> Bass aren't reading a manual. Bass Bank Andrew said, "What's up? I hope being a lone quantum supporter, dude. Quantum makes good stuff. I, that is, that's my uh, my ultralight spinning reel. Where did I miss that one? Quantum is Quantum's OG when it comes to spinning tackle. How come I'm making hundred percent? Hundred percent. Let's see if we're over four hundred. I gotta get a frog. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. One away from four hundred for Oki. Four hundred for you. Okay, Zach, take care, dude. He's probably already out. I'm so behind, dude. The buzz bait for me was insane. Just watching the bites. I told Steve when we were out, I was like, "Man, if you even get a bite, I'm switching over." So of course he did. But yeah, Aaron, I, that's all I want to try that top toad on one. The, the bite is unlike anything. <laughs> Watch my uncle catch a fish on a cigarette butt. This idiot. This what? this what? idiot tells me I'm going to the to to some pond vet last last year right and I'm all hyping it up oh, I'm going to I'm going to get on him and I have a giant jaw for the, full of sunflower seeds he tells me before I ever hit the water he's like you're gonna spit those seeds in the water and you're gonna get more reactions on those than any of your baits <laughs> I'm like you know whatever piss off Alex <laughs> calling about 15 minutes later every time I spit in the water <laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Buzz bite bought better at night or early morning. Sean, that's totally conditional, dude. I was catching them in the middle of the day, clear blue skies. It was windy. It was hot. Um, Psycho just got you 400. What? Psycho? Oh, my Heck God. Yeah. I love you. 
Okay, go back to your oh yeah, sorry, bluebird skies. Uh, yeah, so it was the middle of the day, bluebird skies, windy, throwing it. I mean, the waves were chopping. I was basically rolling it over waves when I was getting these bites. So do I? I think there's something to be said about topwater fishing in the morning and the evening, right? It's it's typically, although not in Oklahoma, the last year, calmer. Um, you know, the you're hearing more frogs out. You're you're. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to explain here, but. Morning and evening, I would say, are typically your better bite, but you can catch them any time of the day if the fish are biting. Mm -hmm. Sorry. That was a long-winded response. <clears throat> White Will said you got a new video coming out soon. About, oh, okay, you said that. Sorry. My yeah, bad. A good one. My bad. Mullet Supernado Frog is on my wish list. It's an awesome concept. Well, consider that, Peyton. That's what we were talking about before. I think that's a good idea. Best live bait to catch bass on. Best live bait? I caught him on a live frog once. It's kind of I mean, kind of terrible. You talk, I mean, Shiner's probably going to be the best. I think it really yeah. kind of depends on where you are, too. Shad are hard to keep alive, though, Peyton, once you get them hooked. Down here. Water dogs, yeah. Water dogs are good. Crawdaddies. Fine. Crawdads. Yep. Yep. Crawdads. I, I caught that leopard frog and uh, stuck him, which seems kind of inhumane now that I think about it. But uh, <laughs> The plopper is – I love water plopper. Freaking love. Live bluegill. That's another one. Yep. Oh, do I have that with me? I mean, if you have bluegill, then you're going to be throwing. Do you want the bluegill swim bait over there? Live bluegill. You have that? I mean, you're going to be catching catfish on that as well. I mean, you're going to catch just about everything on a live bluegill. Did you want to see the, blue, the bluegill swim bait? Yeah. That should, the, the new one or the savage that you have? The savage. Oh. Oh, you're talking about your trash fish? What? 4 0 toe? 4 0 4 -oh toe. 4 -oh toe. I'm a 4 -oh toe. You don't have to mess with that. Okay, good. I can't find it. I think, right. I, I think I threw it in there. It's getting late. What time do I have to wake up? I How think long it's going to take me to get there? So this guy's complaining. I had him come over to do this live stream, right? He's complaining because he's got to wake up at like 4 o'clock. 4 a.m. to go fishing. To go fish. Tough life, right? Tough life. I'm waking up at 1 to go to work. Not to fish. That's different. To work. So... You're and I'm still to, making time for you guys. Used to that. He begrudgingly came along. Ooh, so if you sub to him, you might want to reconsider. You might want to reconsider <laughs> at this point. All right, hold on. Oh, God. I almost, John said it's just fun to say walk and I almost put psycho in, in timeout, and I didn't even mean to. Um, let me see. How What's I'm... my favorite lake? I'll tell you what my least favorite lake is. <laughs> It's trying to kill you now. It's sunburn. I'm wearing shorts tomorrow, by the way. Golly, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing so, shorts and flip -flops. And I know Chris is going to watch this, and he's going to message me about this, but I am so sick of dripping springs. Malt tire. Why do you say that? Malt, I am so malt sick of it. Image fishing. Oh. it. It tried to kill me. It's tried to give me sun cancer, or skin cancer, <laughs> sun <laughs> cancer. <laughs> I'm tired. Sean wants to know if we've ever done too. live fishing. I have. It uh, didn't turn out well. I lost the name. <laughs> <laughs> um, most lakes I go to, I cannot go live. Um, the service is terrible. Yeah, but I have wanted to. I actually almost did it last Wednesday, but I mean, it was going to be way too dark by the time everyone could <laughs> hop on. So said, you'd have a new least favorite lake. If Peyton, I work at home. Amazon. You ever try Kitek stick bait? <laughs> I didn't know Kitek did stick baits. No. I did not know that either. I did. I did Insta Live, Sean. I didn't do uh, YouTube Live. I'm too, oh. too small to do that. And thank you, Moultrie. Appreciate that, man. We had snow on the ground this morning. Good fishing day. That sucks. Oh, hey, bro. Man. I live south of Bixby. Can you please recommend any public ponds? Oh, um, Haskell. South of Bixby. I mean, you got good bank access at Haskell. You can hit anywhere on Haskell from the bank. Bixby's almost got decent. Decent access on one um, side, right? Pawns. My buddy uh, Kevin reached out to me and asked me about pawns. We have not been to pawns since last year. Like, I mean, I've lost touch with which pawns to go to. We know some in uh, Broken Arrow or by Bass Pro over by the BA High School. There's some good pawns over there. Um, right in front of the Broken Arrow High School, there's like three pawns over there. One of them is completely covered in moss. And algae. Um, when it heats up, though, that is a that's a fun pond for frogs. Um, but yeah, there's a little one that's over there. Um, 
There's one over off the highway. What is that? Over off the the creek and 111th, I think. The one under the bridge? Yeah. That one's kind of by the bridge. Yeah, that one's crazy. Uh, if you get over on this side, it's by the... See, John said the Haskell's the best option. Yeah, there's, there's big fish in Haskell. It's pressured, but yeah. uh, there's some big fish in there. Yeah. Summer um, fishing is close to hitting his subscriber goal for a giveaway. Oh, Sooner is? Yeah. Nice. You're reading this. Um, let's see how John gives Sooner fish. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, and river fishing. I did a river fishing. I did a little bit of that last year, Bruce. Um, it was garbage. <laughs> uh, but no, I haven't have not done too much. So you guys go check out psycho fishing and hunting for me, please. I'd appreciate that. And sooner Same fishing. Here. Uh Brett, hold on, somebody just asked a question. Tyler, okay. would I recommend casting uh yes. Yeah. You know, they got the different gear yeah. ratios in those. Those hundred percent. I will say that they are on the lower end as far as drag is concerned, but that's not a deal breaker, right? They no. cast well. Um, I've not really had too many problems. Like hook sets for me is the only time when I have drag issues and I could very easily put my thumb on the spool to help mitigate some of that slip. Mm -hmm. But as far as finding fish, it doesn't bother me. There's, yeah. there's not really any impact to that. Only the other thing that I would say is if you're looking at the higher, like the bathinator. If you're going to spend 160 bucks, go put it into, you know, something like a Shimano or a Daiwa or a Luz. That's what I will say, hundred percent. Yep. But if you're looking at lower, lower price point, more budget, more budget friendly. Oh yeah. Hundred percent, the ones that we named. Yep. Uh, Colton, it really just depends. You don't want to put yourself into a trap where you're doing a giveaway where folks aren't actively engaged. So anytime you announce there's going to be a giveaway, you're going to notice an influx of viewers, and you'll see those subscribe subscriber numbers dip. So I would strongly encourage that you announce the video and then wait until the end of a stream or the end of a period of time to do that giveaway. Don't be like me where you jump in on a stream and announce the winner in the first 15 minutes and then have to have everyone else stick around. So it's, it, yeah, dude, just do it in a way in which people aren't going to take advantage, but people are ultimately going to take advantage anyway because everybody likes free stuff. What did you say? Tell us how you really feel. I think that while giveaways have a place, I don't particularly like them because it creates a false sense of um, accomplishment for you in a way because you're going to see subscriber numbers go up and then come back down after the giveaway. Yep. And the thing with giveaways is they're great, but you got to make sure that, I mean, they're equal. Yeah. You know, like everyone's got a chance. Look at this quarantine hair right now. Quarantine hair. I'm going to cut my own hair this oh, it's week. It's 9.18. i got to respond to one more comment that I'm sliding into the garage door. Okay. Uh, what Colton, say message me on Instagram, and I'll talk to you more, dude. Yeah. I'll give you a little more. Um, I still throw a lose. Un, un hurt opinion, I guess I, you could I'm say. I'm not really butthurt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've only done one giveaway. Yeah. I mean, I get it, dude. Johnson. I agree. <laughs> you do gain some true subscribers. There's... I tend to be more on the cynical side, whereas Alex tends to see the best in people. For me, I'm a little bit jaded because I think that if you're going to put money up to put something out, then I, at the very least, expect you to continue supporting me uh, after the fact. Now, that may just be me being selfish or greedy or whatever, because you're really under no obligation. But in a perfect world, that would happen. So... It's, I, I don't intend to disrespect anybody that comes from for giveaways. I, I'm just oh, <laughs> I'm done. Catfish, dude. <laughs> it's too late, man. I've already committed. I'm going to cut my own hair. I used to do it. I actually cut hair over in Afghanistan. I cut all the guys' hair over there. They used to call him Rick Bond. So that's what I did. All right. That's the wind up. If you're talking about like the homie free stuff, it's just a bonus. Heck yeah, Bruce. All right, guys. We we're we're done. We're closing it up. Closing up shop. Time's done. I love you. Here. Even though I ranted, I love you. Yeah. There's a little bit of a rant, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, guys. I appreciate you. Big thumbs up. Big thumbs up. Great talk tonight.
I know it's kind of, did we did we cover out of the box fishing? So yeah. should we retouch yeah, that? No, you got it. Should we retouch? I'm that? trying to go home. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. Have a good night. Be safe. The end is near. Peace. <laughs>